We have the lady who uh, is now being uh, persecuted yet again for new surf crimes, new slave crimes in uh, Michigan for the evil garden. First they were going to drop the charges, now they're back with even more. They'll teach her, they'll teach a good prisoner, they'll play her 30 days in the hole. Why not? You're a prisoner on Plantation Earth. It's a good name, Plantation Earth. A uh, good term for it, uh, the, hence the prisonplanet.com. And I've got a bunch of other news. Yeah, I haven't really weighed in, but now it's certainly ripened. I haven't weighed in deeply on the whole News Corp thing over in England and the arrest of the head of News Corp over there and the uh, police chief having to step down is reportedly involved. This could bring down News Corp. They're opening probes in the U.S. and Australia. I'll tell you about that before our guest joins us. Got a bunch of TSA news, a bunch of war news, a bunch of economy news, but I want to go to Ryan, Dana, Glenn, John, Vincent, Joe, Nancy, Jeff, Warren, Tony, Tom, and others. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Ryan in Seattle. You're on the air. Welcome. Hey, thanks, Alex. Hey, I just wanted to say, since we're on the topic of revenue-generating cops, I was driving on the road yesterday, and there was an officer on the side of this in intersection, and, you know, he was had his little radar gun out and everything. And so I started videotaping him with my phone. <clears throat> but as the light turned green and I was taking a left, you know, he started walking across back across a turn lane towards his vehicle. As in the middle, I mean, as cars were driving by, and anybody in the right state of mind would not walk out in front of cars, but he decided to. <laughs> and because this lady wasn't going to stop for him, I mean, he literally, you know, put his hand out, get over there, and, you know. And I, unfortunately, I didn't get it on my phone because I had to put my phone out because I was turning. But it's just well, only ridiculous. only a, 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 a egomaniac would enjoy bossing people around eight hours a day. I mean, uh, I, I mean, I've got a lot of employees. I can boss around if I want. I dread having to do it, but that's why I'm not a police officer. Now, there's some that actually want to help people and grew up wanting to, you know, get bad guys, and they generally come from families of police and are and are pretty good folks in a lot of cases. Uh, but um, uh, more and more, they're just steroid heads that want to crack heads, uh, or they're corrupt. I mean, a lot of them want know the system's corrupt and want to get involved in it. Let me tell you, the cops are scary in New York. I mean, it's like something out of a Goodfellas movie, but they got badges and they walk over with cigars, smoking cigars. I mean, talk about their bellies hanging out. I mean, it's it's like something out of um, Clockwork Orange. Uh, Ryan, I appreciate your call. Uh, Dana in Alabama, you're on the air. Welcome. Uh, hey, Alex, can you hear me? I sure can. Hey, uh, uh, kudos for your work. Look, I got one quick point of interest and two quick questions. Uh, the point of interest, uh, Yemen's. President, he has a son named Ahmed Salah. That matches a name on my Skull and Bones membership list, 1968. If it is him, it would make him a bones mate of George W. Uh, and look like they're pressuring him to back out. So that would be kind of like a New World Order versus New World Order, and that, that's just an interesting point there. I'll have to look into that. I know the New.